Welcome back everyone. Today, uh, I'm going to make a review of a new model just released by the, not just released, but just like new release one or two days ago from a world of guns, a video game in available on Steam. You just type the name world, world of guns full access if you want to buy the full access to play this game okay this is not paid promotion i'm not uh, being paid by them or having a relation with them with them uh, all this game i bought using my own money okay so let's review but before we begin don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification if you want to see more video uh, before we begin let's read a little bit information about it okay so the gatling gun is a rapid firing multiple barrel firearms invented by john uh, richard jordan gatling i almost say john browning okay i'm sorry Richard Jordan Gatling, okay, in 1861. It was in service from 1862 to 1911. And it was uh, designed in 1861, okay, manufactured by first Eagle Iron Works, and then probably the last one is American Orleans Company. It fired uh, Point thirty, thirty forty crack or for international viewer, it was seven point eight millimeter by fifty eight by eight, fifty eight point eight. Okay, so seven point eight millimeter by fifty eight point eight millimeter. Okay, so uh, that's that's. Uh, huge caliber almost eight millimeter and then the case length is longer than uh, 762 by 51 or 54 nato or uh, ammunition okay but it's also can fire like 11 by 60 millimeter mauser point 44 43 spanish caliber uh, 306 uh, Springfield or 760 by 63 okay and then 45 uh, 70 government which is like huge uh, caliber okay so for this model we fire a 7.8 millimeter uh, 30 40 crack or also known as 30 US or 30.30 30 army. Okay. So let's begin. But before we begin, well, we already begin. Uh, as usual, we have to begin with reloading. So, like this. Okay, we reload. Oh, we cannot reload with uh, everything here. We have to fire it, but so maybe I'm gonna fire it like this so you can see it's firing like this. So I'm gonna reload now. So when you reload, you just disconnect this magazine spring. So I think the animation here is a little bit wrong. It's supposed to be like 
like if you when when you pull like that, wasn't it gonna stuck here on the magazine spring spring or set? I think this magazine spring here gonna be under this uh, magazine spring lines holding into it, and then you're gonna pull this over here away from this magazine spring lines, allowing the allowing the magazine to be free to be lifted up and then when you lift it up like that okay now you can put in new loaded magazine with ammo into the magazine well maybe not magazine well this is copper body okay but it's like magazine well in my eyes and right, right there, it's done. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a simple magazine spring latch into uh, the magazine spring racks. Magazine spring, the thrusting on magazine spring racks. Okay, now let's see it's firing. Luckily, we can just click on the mount here and everything is uh, invincible. Imagine if I have to manually like click on this mount here. It's going to be annoying for me. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the mechanism here. This is the hand crank. Well, this is the crank you're using your hand. So compared to a minigun, which is using um, electric motors. This one is like, for the time is modern, but for us now it's really like using your hand, really. You don't have electricity in your uh, country. Like probably that's what I will ask if I see this uh, in like somewhere. Well, did you guys think if it's, Okay, no, 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 no. I cannot talk about current current conflict. I cannot. It's it's bad for monetization. Okay, so if you rotate this crank here, crankshaft here, it's gonna rotate the crankshaft form. In turn the turn the warm gear here, like like this. You see that? And this warm gear here. Connected to the diaphragm, diaphragm body here, which connected to the cam body, and then lock, lock cylinder body here. Okay, connected to the bolt one to three to n to ten not to n. This is not calculus. I'm sorry. So as you can see here. Oh my god, my bad, my bad. So as you can see here, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, this part here. As you can see, the bolt here is uh, connected to the lock cylinder body this way. You can see, like right here. Okay, so it's lock here, the bolt and the lock cylinder body here is locked together. So when you rotate, when you rotate the bolt here, it's going to follow the line of the cam body, cam body here. So it's going to be in this point position. This is the normal position and then it's going to be go forward. Uh, pushing the round into the chamber Cham chamber chamber is like this is chamber first chamber this is chamber chamber of the bottom okay so uh, as you can see here the bolt here it's gonna be moving forward because it's follow the cutout line of the 
can body like right here i'm sorry i i need to be repeating some stuff for people who doesn't follow yet like following really good no so this bolt here moving around following this line here so it's gonna go forward pushing the round into the chamber like this like watch the bolt number two it have round in the carrier block here it's gonna moving forward because it's follow the cam, cam body here so it's gonna move forward like this now that the round in the chamber as you can see from down here the bolt too and then the round is being pushed into the chamber okay right there and then when in that position and when the ball meet the barrier plate rear and then the barrel here like the bolt like in 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 perfect fit position like this like here in this perfect fit position here it it's uh, the at, at this position the ball two in this position the the firing pin number two which is connected to the bolt number two gonna be released by the cocking switch right there so it, so it was it was released and it's gonna hit the primer of the round of 7.8 millimeter round does it have the cast oh that, that's barrel pen so, okay i think it's on barrel pen okay it doesn't have a gas animation so we're, we're not gonna focus on that so as you can see the firing pin was being released by the cocking switch when the bolt was perfect fit holding onto the barrel number 10 so there's no gas that get a uh, puncture or destroy uh, explode on the outside of the battery okay it's firing and then the cycle continue the next round in okay so as you <clears throat> so as you can see here the cam body uh, gonna be following the no the cam cam body, cam body the, but the body but the ball here following the cam body moving forward and then at this position it's going to be entering the cock, uh, cocking switch so the cocking switch holding the firing pin in place okay like this the cocking switch holding the firing pin in place while the ball go forward providing space here so you see the distance created between the firing pin and the primer here like this was this close right and you keep rotating keep making distance until it was outside of the until it was outside of the cocking switch then it will be released right here hitting the firing uh, the primer round is fire and the cycle the cycle will continue like that until the magazine is empty maybe not that button i want to press okay so let me so you keep, you keep relating the crankshaft here, the crank washer and crankshaft, and the worm gear, and then the whole uh, cylinder body, so lock cylinder body here, body here uh, rotating, making the bolt go forward, 
pushing around into the chamber, the cocking switch here, uh, holding the firing pin to a certain distance, and then release it when the bolt in this lower position over here. Like over this position, then the firing pin gonna be released. Okay. Firing pin gonna be released, hitting the primer around this fire, and then the cycle gonna be continue. Like over here. Now let's see the ejection cycle. As you can see here. First round is fired. Now you see the bolt here and the extractor is extracting the round from the chamber like this. So round was extracted from the chamber. And then when the round is in this fully exposed outside here, uh, sitting on the carrier block here. It's going to be pushed out by the plow here. Or the plow. The plow, plow, plow. Okay, it's like. I think uh, the the story is uh, the Jordan Gatling was a farmer. And and he was inspired by the, by the farming equipment he, he had to create this. Okay, for the needs of the of the American Union side at the time. I'm sorry, I cannot talk about history because YouTube don't like that on gaming channel. If you're gaming, you're gaming. If you want to be history channel, please be history channel. I think that's how YouTube works. So. Let's continue. So the plow here gonna kick out the empty casing out right here. Okay, it's being kicked out. Okay. And then the bolt also uh, being pulled back. As you can see, also the bolt need to be in here in this position because if not, then the bolt is gonna be stuck on the plow here. Okay, so you're gonna keep continue the cycle. There are the, the empty casing was being kicked out by the, the plow here. Okay, it's gonna continue like that. Maybe I'm slow, okay. as you can see here. The plow kicking out the empty casing when you keep rotating the mechanism. Okay, so uh, I think that's it. Uh, there's some, there's like uh, how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten barrels? Really? Yeah, it's a ten barrels. It, uh, on minigun, I think it's six. Like odd number, or like six, three for uh, the fifty cal version. Okay, but this one is ten, a ten barrel, and it was carry on top of this mount here. Okay, so. I can I can fire it while rotating. Okay, that is. Let's see the rear side adjusted here. So 
So this is the rear side here. Like, let's be honest, like with this type of gun, do you need side like this? Don't you just, oh, maybe you need side, okay, because the magazine only has like 30 rounds here. And okay, YouTube, please. This is a video game, so please monetize it. This is a thirty round, but I'm not using a real weapon. This is a digital, same like weapon on uh, Call of Duty or anything, any video game. So I wish it was fine. It's not real. This is a digital. I don't have it at home or anywhere else. So that should be fine. Yeah. Can you see the whole mechanism from this angle? Okay. I think that's it. There's no other thing to review here like I was hand cranked like you the whole system using your labor and not using a gas mechanism for electric or anything like that so first side also just like right here so okay so that's it uh thank you for watching if you like what you see Please like, subscribe, share, comment your opinion if you want to share it. If you, if you don't want to share opinion, I don't mind. It's fine. Uh, also consider becoming a member because it helps me also. Like it helps me more if you pay me in the form of membership because it's like directly to me. Well, you could probably take like 40%. I don't know the number. But the point is, it's like directly towards me because you giving me money directly, not from that. So if you're interested, please become a member. There's a perks there that for now it's not much yet. But if we as we grow, there's more perks coming. There's more content coming as uh, and you're supporting me and allowing me to make other review of uh, other gameplay review of other video game okay so it's really how uh, i think that's it uh, thank you for watching like subscribe and comment and share and i will see you in the next video maybe in one or two days like usual thank you for watching bye bye